All right, this is second grade, module six, lesson two. And in this lesson, students are going to be using math drawings to represent the equal groups that we've been doing. But this time, they're going to be relating it to repeated addition. Now, parents and teachers, really what we're talking about here is laying the foundation that ultimately in third grade is going to allow students to connect uh, three times two, which is like we're going to think of it as three groups of two, so they're going to represent or relate three times two to three, uh, two plus two plus two, because there is our three groups of two. All right. So this lesson and this really this module is laying that foundation, that framework for that. But we are not expecting our students to have their mem uh, multiplication tables memorized. We're just giving them a, a sweet taste. So let's get started. So the directions say, write a repeated addition equation to show the number of objects in each group. So the idea is, we're looking and we see three groups, and I see that there are three brushes, right? So this would be three plus three plus three, and we can count those up, and we can add those up, and we'd get nine, so that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, parents and teachers, some of your students might be able to skip count three, six, nine, and that would be cool. Nothing wrong with that. And so the other way we're going to write it is three groups of three equals nine. Okay? Now, what's a little tricky, parents and teachers, on this one is the fact that we have three groups of three. So we've lost the, you know, the two numbers are the same. Right, three and three. It's kind of a bummer. I wish this would have been like four groups of three or three groups of two or something like that, but that's all right. So don't let that trip your, your students up. Here is more like what I'm talking about, which is it says draw one more group of four, one more group of triangles, and then write the repeated addition. So we can see we've got one group of triangles here. In fact, I'm going to circle them. We've got another group right here. We've got another group right here. And it says we're supposed to draw one more group of triangles. So sure enough, let's do that. One more group of triangles. So one triangle, two triangles, three triangles, and four triangles. So there is our one more group of four triangles. So now we're going to write our repeated addition. So what are we going to write down here? We're going to put four plus four plus four plus four. That's because we have this group, this group, this group, and this group. So we have four groups. And what do we have total? What's our total number of triangles? So parents and teachers, let your students count. There are 16. So the line down here, how many groups of four? Oh, we have four groups of four, and that equals 16. So parents and teachers, you can clearly see how this is leading to multiplication. This is actually pretty cool. One last example. It says draw four groups of three circles, and then write the repeated addition equation. All right, well, four groups of three circles. It might help to draw the four groups first. So let's draw four groups. One group, two groups, three groups, four groups. So there's our four groups. And now we're supposed to draw three circles inside each group. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So there is my four groups, one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, four groups with three circles in each group. So what's our repeated addition? Well, our repeated addition is going to be four plus four plus four plus four. Parents and teachers notice I stacked them like this. I wanted each four. Whoa, but they're not fours, are they? What are those supposed to be? Oh my goodness. Those are not supposed to be fours. Oh my goodness, What? those are supposed to be threes. So get rid of that guy, get rid of this guy, get rid of this guy. Oh my goodness. 
What are those supposed to be? Those are supposed to be threes. So three plus three plus three plus three. And now I want you to notice I stacked them up on top of each other. I got a three because I'm talking about three circles. And I really wanted to create this one-to-one -one correspondence. And that equals 12. And so we could write four groups. It doesn't ask us to do this part, but let's do it. Four groups of three equals 12. And that wraps up second grade, module six, lesson two, using drawings to represent equal groups, and then we're connecting that to repeated addition.